All right, I'm here with actor and Team Beast member Alex E. Miller. On episode six, we're going to talk about his recent success, his experience at Beast Athletics, and mental and physical transformation. Stay tuned. All right, it's your boy Tuck Taylor, and this is episode six of Inside Beast Athletics. I uh, know a lot of you are wondering, like, where is PK? Well, PK is right over there. He's kind of producing this episode. <laughs> He's over in the corner. Uh, this guy I got right here with me is none other than Alex E. Miller, uh, one of our prized members. Uh, he had one of the best transformations here at Beast Athletics. Uh, Alex was just on national TV this past week on uh, NBC's The Daytime TV Show. Uh, it was full circle for me, Alex, just, you know, remembering the consultation process, sitting in this very classroom. You were about 50 pounds overweight and really looking to change your life. And uh, we talked about a little bit about success, talked about how we're going to attack your transformation. And uh, you, you did it, buddy. You did it. You know, so uh, definitely watching that last week was uh I I I got I got a little emotional. I got a little emotional. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I got a little emotional. Uh, it was great just to see the full circle of your your transformation, um, and to know that you know that uh, the gym had a, a little piece to do with that. That's what kind of we're gonna ask you today is just uh, first you know sharing your experience here at Beast Athletics, and then kind of uh, sharing your your whole transformation mentally and physically with the people as well too. So. Uh, First, everybody, this is Alex E. Miller. Diaz will put his handle and everything under there so you guys can follow him on all the social media outlets. Alex is not on Snapchat yet, but <laughs> by the end of this episode, we're going to make sure he's on Snapchat so you guys can follow this guy around. Guy's very entertaining. So, Alex, welcome to the show, buddy. It was good to be here. Good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, first, kind of tell the people um, about uh, your experience here at Beast Athletics. Uh, Beast is... It's a home away from home for me. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people that went here at the time that I was going and probably are still going now can say the same thing. You know, a lot of people you'll hear when they talk about going to the gym, they're dreading it. They're like, oh, I have to go to the gym when I get off work or whatever they have going on. Uh, Beast Athletics is uh, the other way around. I remember people that went here the same time I did, if they missed and, and I went, they'd be like, oh, man, I missed it. You know, I wish I was there. It's kind of something to look forward to every day. You know, so it was, it was a blessing. Good stuff, good stuff. So talk about physically uh, what the gym did for you. Physically, I lost 40 pounds, uh, 40 pounds in less than three months. Yes, which, I remember that. Which, which seemed unlikely uh, in my book. I remember watching a lot of infomercials as a child and always feeling like some of the stories you hear, like it's unrealistic. So to have it happen to myself, you know, at Beast Athletics, it was like, wow, you know, this is somewhere where what you're seeing on television is real. And the amount of time that it took as far as not so much in the three months, but only having to come here about 45 minutes a day, about four days a week, that was even more impressive. Because a lot of times people have this misconception that you have to pour in so much of your day, you know, into working out. You're not going to have time to have a life besides that. But with Beast, you know, it's in and out. I come here and the time you say we would be leaving, you know, I'd be out of here and on with the rest of my day. And just to uh, kind of piggyback on that, too, I just remember, because, you know, I witnessed everything firsthand. Just remember you coming in, uh, your very first workout. He's not going to tell you this story. I'm going to tell you this story. <laughs> His very first workout, we're not even done with the warm-up, and this guy is outside calling Earl, throwing up. I remember it was all white. Um, you were... At that time, you weren't eating right, so you were struggling with uh, acid, acid, reflux. acid reflux. He had acid yeah. reflux really bad. So, I mean, just, you know, just got done with the warm-up. This guy is outside throwing up. And, you know, the thing that I always used to tell people, the great thing about Alex is his resiliency. So most people, they throw up as bad as he did. I'm talking about it's rolling down into the street. It's starting its own little stream, a little <laughs> puddle in there. It's a lot. But yeah, most people that do that... Their, their first workout, 
They quit. They don't come back. Alex was back the very next day saying, hey, Tuck, um, I, I really want this. How, how can we fix it so I don't do that again? I was like, you just need to come up your time. You need to get in better shape. You need to eat better. And in and, and 90 days, the guy looked like a completely different guy. I also remember, uh, if you, all of your Facebook followers remember this as well, probably uh, – I'll say about 100 days after you lost that weight, you had your first six-pack. This guy was posting a chest-naked picture of himself on Facebook every day. It was like you were, I felt like, even amazed about how great you looked. And you would always come to me and tell me stories about how such, you didn't see such and such for about eight weeks. And they saw you. They were like, oh, bro, what you been doing? So I remember that was just a great time uh, as an owner of a gym just to see, you know, uh, people enjoying and reaping the benefits of what we do here so that that was awesome um and uh i always use you as one of our examples of one of our best transformations here diaz also it would be cool to have his performed after on here too so people can actually see the 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 physical transformation this guy went through uh so on from physical more to mental uh what has beast athletics done for you mentally uh someone i look up to a lot is Tony Robbins, and he speaks of uh, the physiological triad. It's kind of like how you feel physically affects everything else emotion-wise. It starts physically. And I noticed that with Beast Athletics. You know, you always hear that when you're a child saying, you know, you can do whatever it is that you want to, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Well, with Beast, the physical transformation, it affected me mentally because this was the first time in my life I could say I really put my mind to something and was able to attain it. Absolutely. You know, like I had set in my mind, even though it happened in that time, I had set in my mind that it would have happened that way. You know, I was just like, you know, I'm going to sell myself on this. But when it happened, even I was in shock. It's like, wow, this is the first time you put your mind to something, it works. And I was always in a, in a good mood. I leave here and the rest of the day, which is every day was like a holiday to me. I would tell people um, I went to sleep last night looking forward to today and I can't wait till tomorrow just because. But that statement, you know, it didn't serve true for me until I started coming to Beast Athletics. And, and it, it was, again, awesome, you know, just watching your, your mental transformation and watching things click. I, I think you're one of those guys that once you kind of fully understand something, you do go all in. So once you kind of get that like aha moment, you're you're an all in guy. I think you know, dating back to that first consultation when we we're going over the steps to being successful of the focus and the avoiding drifting and the uh, you know uh, temporary defeat versus failure and forming the proper habits. How that I saw that light bulb kind of go off. You know, I remember specifically talking about speaking things into existence and it was at the end of the consultation you were like i am going to lose this weight that was like how you left off the consultation like i am going to lose this weight and i feel like you took those those two words i am and now said i am going to be you know an actor i am going to be on national tv and a lot of these things are starting to actually manifest for you which is again just sitting back watching everything unfold has been just awesome for me and very rewarding for me as well as everybody else that you know watched you watch you transform as well so um, anything else uh, you want to say about the gym? Or? Uh, well, I do want to issue a personal thank you to you and, and all the staff that was involved with that because you, your fingerprints are on the molding of what, what I've become. And a, a lot of people don't take that into consideration, the stuff that happens around a person for them to get somewhere. They're thinking that it's just a matter of the talent. Right. But, you know, from my experience of pursuing a career in entertainment for over 10 years, talent is only one facet of it. You know, it's only about really 20 percent. Right. You know, 80 percent is your determination, your will. And you guys were able to help me find the determination and will that I already had inside. You helped me discover that. And I feel like everyone has that. But Beast Athletics they're going to help someone discover what's already inside. It just takes We're going to help you unleash your inner beast. <laughs> and, it, and it takes coming here because when wh what you go through at Beast, you go through something else and you're like, you know, nothing could be harder than, than right, workout that workout. Right, that workout, right. You know, so that's how I'm able to apply it to, to life on an everyday. Awesome, everyday awesome. Basis. What what advice would you give somebody coming into Beast for the first time, working out, uh, just what, what, what's your advice on so helping them stay on track? That's the big thing, right? You Everybody joins a gym. They, glow, they join these Globo gyms. They join CrossFit gyms looking for some kind of result. What's your advice for a person, you know, 
stepping their first day here at Beast Athletics on becoming, getting your success. You know, you, you stepped in here, you know, you said 40 pounds overweight, and then you, you, you lost 40 pounds pretty quickly. What is that, uh, what, what, what advice would you give them? I, I'd say it's, you have to look at everything. Like my father used to tell me when I was younger, he says, you know, tell yourself whatever you need to tell yourself to be, you know, the best version of yourself and I looked at I look at everything like it's more for the documentary so whenever something is going wrong I always try to remember the details I try to remember who I you know who I was around who was there what they were wearing the setting all the details because you got to look at it like this is a part of the story the before before I get to the after so when you're going through a hard work workout at, at Beast and you're thinking like oh you know this this is it I'm not going to come back tomorrow or I'm going to take a few days off you, know, you want to think about, no, I want to stick with this, and I'm going to remember this day where I was on the verge of quitting, on the verge of giving up, and tell that story to someone else. Because someone else is going to go through that one day, just like whoever is just starting here is going through, and I can share that story with them. And I you know, adopted the, the mindset of, you know, I'm going to take a step every day. And for me I, to take I a remember step. remember this. I remember this. <laughs> I, was, I was always like, you know, if I, if I woke up and I was like, okay, yesterday did I eat right? Yes. Okay, that's half of a step. Okay, did I go to the gym? Yes, that's another step. So, or the other, other half of the step. If I didn't eat right and work out, then I didn't take a full step. So if I worked out the next day and I didn't eat right, then this other leg doesn't go forward. So what I said was, you know what, I'm going to eat right and what I call beast right mm -hmm. for 90 days. And in 90 days, I took those 90 steps with equal, me losing 40 pounds in that amount and of time. And people were astonished on how fast you transformed your body. But I, I think, again, you took a step forward every day closer to your goal and you got there. And so what do, what do you think are some of the roadblocks that cause people not to take that step forward every day? What do you think are some of the things that kind of come into play? Lot, lots of things. Even when you're, when you're starting to have success, you know, when it comes to your weight loss journey, you're going to get some people who are going to tell you, you know, that's enough, you're fine, you know, you've already accomplished what you set out to. Even though your visions might be further than what they see, they feel you've gotten farther enough. And you're like, OK, well, maybe I am. You know, that's one issue. Another issue could be where you're feeling like you're having to dedicate so much to this lifestyle that you're kind of changing yourself. So you might end up changing your circle. Uh -oh. Some people, uh -oh. are, some people that, that might have been there before, they might not be around you as much because you guys are just living two completely different lifestyles. You've adopted a whole other mindset and you're in fear of of losing that love from them. But, you know, if it's unconditional, they'll be there regardless. Uh, another thing you'll run into is is the pressure, the pressure of every day. Like I have to work out, I have to eat right if I want to maintain. But my thing is, you have to look at it like even when you're we maybe took one step and you had another level, you have to then think, okay, I still have another transformation. You know, so you want to you know take those pressures as almost like motivation. Like you know what, this is just going to propel me into the next level that I want to go to. So you kind of want to ignore it and, and take that pressure as just a stepping stone. Use it as a step. It's there for a reason because you're going to tell that story to someone else. Absolutely. It's more for the documentary, folks. I love that. I love that. I, I use that now. I stole that from you. I love that term. So anything goes bad, man, that's more for the documentary, man. All right, Alex, uh, this was a pretty awesome interview, buddy. Again, I cannot express to you how proud I am. Uh, just, again, seeing seeing you come in and you me, me and you having our big brother, little brother talks mm -hmm. on you know, what your next move is going to be and just, you know, being able to be a, a part, you know, of, of your success has been great for me. And it's, it's the, the relevation that's got to me is that, like, helping other people is awesome. Helping other people is awesome because – Watching you on TV, I literally felt like I was on TV. Like I felt, I felt that like connection on there, and so like I like, I like watching other people succeed, and it, it just feels great. And I think we, I, we as a community, just need more of that. So uplifting each other and helping each other out, and you know, lending the ear to hear somebody, you know, think some things out every once in a while is great because. Once that person succeeds, we all succeed. And, uh, again, keep on doing your thing, bro. Stay focused. Uh, thanks thanks for shouting out us out. You text me that day uh, of the show. was like, you know, that was awesome. Another one of the things that made me feel good, too, just thanking us and thanking the gym and for, for all we've done. Um, and thank you for all you've done for the gym, too. You're one of our biggest spokespeople out there for the gym. I think pretty much everybody you know has trained here at least a day or so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I appreciate you, bro, and we wish you all success. 
No, I, I thank you. I, I appreciate you. Like I said, but without you all, I can't say you know I'd be making any progress in my career. This Absolutely. was this was the uh, the launching pad for me. The tramp I, I call this the trampoline for me to get where I'm you know going in my life right now. Awesome. All right, folks. I think that's episode six in the books.